Once upon a time, there was a queen who felt burnt out, exhausted and depressed. Just like many of us, she too needed a break from the inauthentic self that she'd been pretending to be. She felt a deep longing to express her true desires, to be her authentic self, but she was afraid. Afraid of disappointing the people she loved, of being rejected, humiliated and laughed at of being vulnerable and not queen-like enough. She tried so hard to pretend that all was well, to keep a strong facade, an air of positivity and hope for her people. She feared that if she would lose it, all of her kingdom would fall as well and would be completely destroyed. But little did she know that her wilderness, her rage, terror, but also her insecurities, her awkwardness, her tears, and her despair. They were the very things that would save her and make her whole. The more she suppressed those feelings, the more exhausted and disconnected she felt from herself, and thus also from the people in her kingdom. However, when she reached a point of utter despair and helplessness, and let herself break down, she also let go of her mask and the filters and dropped the armor and the strategies. The queen shed the lies and the false identifications and cleaned out her old programmings and the false sense of self. That's when she really met and got to know trauma for what it is. She started to realize that trauma was there to protect her to keep her safe, but it was also keeping her hidden and stuck in the past, playing roles that were not authentic. But as she approached her trauma with compassion, she had a loving conversation with it, and she thanked it for its protection, but let it know that she was now bigger and stronger and safer than she had thought, and she didn't need protecting protection from each and everything, from every person that could potentially hurt her or disappoint her. Nor did she need protection from every possibility of failing or being rejected. And as she turned towards the trauma and dared to look at it, she freed her energy and her energy started to work in for her, through her, expressing her true authentic self. She took the risk of speaking her raw truth and started following her heart's calling, even when it was scary. The queen started to realize that it was safe to be herself, to express her true desires, passion and needs, to say no to people and to be her authentic self. And this, my friends, was the greatest gift of all. For her to feel safe within herself, to feel inner peace and real strength. But that's not the end. The more true she was to herself, the more she started to shine. And her energy and light and presence was so strong that her whole kingdom was affected. And all the people within it automatically felt safer, expressing their true and authentic selves.